So joining us now is our state officer on board, Courtney Barber. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Courtney Barber. I'm the second mate on this vessel. And uh, I understand this morning uh, we want to discuss uh, one of the safety issues we have on this vessel. Uh, there are so many safety issues, I can't really, we don't have time to go over them all, so we thought we'd zero in on uh, exposure suits, sometimes referred to as immersion suits. Uh, this is one here I have laid out on the table, and there's one for, <clears throat> excuse me, there's one for everybody on the ship. The best thing for me to do is to hold it up. And it's a one-piece one suit that you slip into. Um, I'm going to show you some of the features of it in a minute. We're going to have a couple of ladies have a race to see who can get into the suit quickest. This is a really important piece of safety equipment. Uh, <clears throat> for instance, um, back during the war, um, among other dangers, there was the danger of uh, submarines off the East Coast, uh, right where we are now, as a matter of fact. And in the winter time, if your ship was um, torpedoed and you weren't able to get into a lifeboat, you ended up in the ocean, your survival rate was uh, very, very short. And um, um, many, many people died who wouldn't have if these suits were available. Almost all ships have them today. Now, um, a teacher from Situate High School, Shannon and myself, are going to race to put on the suits. So, I should say, would you like to give some commentary to our race? <laughs> sure, and I should say ahead of time that um, it's great to be the first person into the suit, but the most important thing is put it on correctly. So take the time to put it on correctly, and you guys know how to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So what we... What we um, what we ask people to do is uh, generally just lay the suits out on the deck. That's the easiest thing to do, and open them up, open the uh, open the um, suit up, and sit down on that white printed area there. Wait for you to give us a go. Yeah. Okay. Count yes. Okay. Go. Oh, I was ready. <laughs> now what they need to do is um, get their feet all the way down into the bottom of the suit. Remember, this is a sort of a one-size-fits-all, and these two ladies are on the small side, so it's important that they get their feet all the way into the bottom of the suit and get that Velcro closure closed um, so that when they get up and start walking, their feet won't come out of the boot. You only want to put in one arm first so that you have a free hand to put your hood on. Uh, it's really important to get your all your hair inside the hood and pull the hood all the way down over your um, right down to your eyebrows cover your face completely and tuck your hair in get rid of your glasses anything that can wick water into the suit. Everybody's doing pretty well here. Now zipping the suit up is, is tough. What you have to do is pull down on one hand, one handle and up on the other. Then there's a flap that goes across. Okay. <laughs> That's a little less than two minutes. That's great. <laughs> do I win in my last attempt? No. <clears throat> Back to the ROV footage. Uh, since it looks like maybe they might be getting closer to the wreck. But I want to remind you that you can talk to us via social media uh, by following our Twitter or our Instagram or our Facebook. And also for our VIP members, remember to log into the chat and ask us all your questions. We would love to answer them. We have a whole team of scientists here to answer them.